I think it's time to kick it up a notch. It's time for the long-awaited crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, you're no good fucking crumb. Get off my bench, you're the crumb of the month. All right, that was the crumb of the month intro that I assume was edited in. If it wasn't, blame Keychain. By the way, for those who may be new or, you you know, maybe tune in for the first time, Mm -hmm. hey, welcome. Welcome. And that is Big Loaf Energy. There's two types of people who listen to this podcast. There's Two types of people in this world, Luke. There's loaves Mm -hmm. and crumbs. And we love a good loaf. Oh, you know why? Mm -hmm. Because loaves are a full package. They sit proudly on the bench. That's right. And they're not hanging off the side, getting flicked off the bench. We always start off with honorable mentions. Now, this is Crumb of the Month. Uh, we, it's a monthly segment where because we, we don't like to spend that much time on this, no. but we do want to point out bad behaviour when it happens to try and stamp it out. Mm-hmm. It's more of a message. So this one is an honourable mention. It's a YouTube comment I got. Yeah. Now this is crummy for multiple reasons. Mm-hmm. Now as soon as regular listeners of the show, as soon as I read this comment, will actually be infuriated by how stu the, the stupidity. Yep. And the how much it was rushed. Yep. I could just tell this person thought it, typed, just and clicked enter, pooped it out, and you were, and it's just like okay. So it was on my stand-up comedy trailer for my new show, right? So mm-hmm. on my channel, there's one part in the trailer where I reach for a box of Savoy's. That's all you have to know. Yep. This comment, and it's been a long-running joke on our show. Not a joke. It's not a joke. Religion. We yep. love Savoy's. We're Savoy we hate jats. Jats rats are scum, they're crumbs. Mm, that's right? right. You know why Jats rats are crumbs? Because Jats are crumbly. That's right. Savoys are also quite crumbly. But a lot more no, delicious. But a lot more golden baked with golden mm. syrup. Anyway. A lot loafy. This comment came from Nivan Kaki. I thought you had a thing for Ritz. Why are you buying Jats? <laughs> now, just no. for clarification, were you buying Jats in that video? Lewis, I was buying Savoy's. Right. So, so, would that be a dumb as fuck thing to comment with two mistakes? Yes, because not only would you have to be blind, mm. you would also have to not understand that we like Savoy's, not Jats. Well, that's what annoyed me is I picked up a box of Savoy's and they didn't even get a mention in yeah. his feedback. I thought you, so he made a mistake. I thought you had a thing for Ritz. No, it's Savoy's. So you, that's the first thing that made me angry. Mm-hmm. Then why are you buying Jats? I just went like, hey man, did you watch the same video <laughs> that I uploaded? Or were you just Googling Jats and then left a comment on my video? Yeah, full. Honorable mention. Dishonorable mention, actually. Yes. We should change that. Dishonorable mention. Dishonorable mention. mention. Um, this one. Uh, oh, hang on. Did you have one? Uh, I oh, you had the actual crumb of the I month. Have the, I have the crumb of the month. Oh, this one, I think we've brought up before. It's not that crummy. I mm-hmm. would say it's not a dishonorable mention. It's more of a... I'm, there's so many half crumbs that come at this, it yep. makes up one full crumb. Okay. Look, some of my shows this year, not all, by the way, most of them are all ages. Some of them are 18 plus. Yep. And, uh, and is that because you have decided to make them just over 18 for an arbitrary reason? Just like fuck them kids? No, or? it's because it's all to do with nothing to do with the content of the show. That's one common thing we always get with shows. Oh, can you or like 18 plus people go, I don't want to see the pussy version of the show. I don't want to <laughs> see the all ages shit. I want to bring the 18 do you plus honestly one? think we write two hours, one family friend, like the Wiggles version of the show where Luke gets out and goes, hey, and does a dance? It, I maybe we're so involved in it that it's like maybe I, I'm stupid for judging these people. But I've I think never it, thought that in my no. life because it's musicians do thought. all ages and <laughs> over eighteen shows. They play the same fucking songs. Yeah, it's to do with alcohol licensing. Yeah, so it's nothing to do with the content of the show. You're seeing the same show wherever you are. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Um, and a uh, common comment is Luke, you man. This one's uh, under my video. Uh, yeah, man, all good would want to come, but prob should do way more all ages shows. You'd make heaps more cash if it was under 18s. Now, Luke, can I just ask you a quick question? <laughs> yes. Would you make more money? 
doing an all ages show? Because obviously you're in the business, mm. and is was that is that guy in the business? Is um, he an agent, a booking agent, a tour manager, or, or no? Comedian himself. Jordan is actually 15 oh. and has a picture of an AFL Sharon as his profile picture. Oh right. So he's not in the business of comedy, oh, okay. but yet he is commenting on the. Which oh, is that's odd. that's very strange. Very strange for a 15 year old with a footy for a head. Yes, to, to give you business advice. It is odd. And now, Lewis, this is why it's odd. Yeah. It's because why is uh, it odd? Maybe it is little known knowledge, mm-hmm. but uh, it is actually much more expensive to yeah. do all ages venues. And that is because... They can't sell alcohol. The venues do not make money from us. Mm-hmm. So we, whatever was being sold over the bar, the venue goes, we'll have three grand thanks yeah. to perform here. Yeah. So it's incredibly expensive to mm-hmm. do all ages shows. So whenever we are doing all ages shows... Ah, you're welcome. Yeah. Because it means I ain't making money. That's right. So, uh, the actual version is the opposite. We make a lot more money of all of 18 plus shows. Even if and you sell less tickets. And it's not to do with money, by the way. Some places, particularly Canberra, Perth is another one, really hard to get all ages shows in. Yeah. There's a lot of places just impossible. Uh, in different states. Yeah. So that's the that's it. Dishonorable mention. And now. Uh, we appreciate though that you want to come and uh, but also out of our control. Wait. But yeah. also, maybe less less business advice. Yeah. That's all. Just, um, just a tip. Boys, I think it's time for... Do you have any dishonorable mentions, Keelan? Uh, yeah, there was one guy who messaged me on Instagram asking me what kind of where you buy your shoes. I thought well, was, I buy my shoes. Yeah, I thought that was pretty crummy. What a fucking idiot. Because that's got nothing to do with me. Oh, I don't got comment. I get those comments all the time. Like, where do you get your shoes? I just write Nike, bro. What do you think? I get them from Someone a fucking shoe store. I don't have... What do you think? I have some secret hookup? I, I do nothing special. I but see a shoe that I like and I buy it online or if I walk into a store and I like it, I'm like, oh, I'll get that one. By the way, don't think this segment is us complaining. It is, but we read shit uh, comments literally every single day of the week. Yeah. Really, we, we could do this segment every single episode, mm. but we don't because, you know, we've got other things to do. Here's a definite crummy one. Uh, it was another the same thing. Where can I get Lewis's necklace? <laughs> Under under your thing, under just a thing of mine, yeah, under a photo on my Instagram. Why would you know? Why would you also? Why would you know. want to wear my shit? I, I wouldn't get your own style, bro. Yeah, get your own personality, guys. It's time for crumb of the month, <laughs> right? This one is very recent. This happened today, and all of us unanimously decided fucking crumb of the month crumb, right crumb there. Behavior. <laughs> so we're in Wagga Wagga. Luke, can I ask a quick question? Shoot. Why are we in Wagga Wagga? To do a stand-up comedy show. Now, right. Lewis, yeah. would we ever be in Wagga Wagga for any other reason? Um, Keelan, is there anything to do in Wagga Wagga worth travelling to? <laughs> no. Oh, well then, no. We would never no, be here for... because you can do crack anywhere, <laughs> and that's <laughs> all anyone does here. That's right. So, uh, glad that we've covered that. We're in Wagga Wagga for a show, which we've been posting about for... Weeks. Weeks. Months. Right. Months. Yep. So, we are walking... On every platform. Every so platform. if you were to say, I'm a massive fan, probably would have seen it. Yeah. If right. you're a massive fan. Mm-hmm. We go to a KFC. Now, look, quick question. Why the fuck were, were we at KFC? Because, if I recall correctly, yesterday we went to KFC. Mm. Because uh, one of our employees, who shall... Will... <laughs> shall re- remain nameless. Mm-hmm. Has fat energy. One of our employees does. <laughs> Keela just looked <laughs> at the oh, wall. Just, no. just looked up at oh, Zach. Oh, yeah. a little, oh, no. Whatever. You know what's funny? Uh, we were, obviously, it was like a three-hour drive this morning from Shepparton to Wagga. Yeah. And, um, Which we would only be there for a show. Yes. And uh, I was like, oh, have you got it set to the caravan park? And he didn't really say it first. And he goes, yeah, I've got it set to Wagga. I was like, cool. And then when I got closer, <laughs> I was like, where is it taking us? Like, I thought... I was like, it's not, it seems like we're not going to the big four. He's like, no, I've, he put in when we left Shepparton, <laughs> KFC, <laughs> Wagga Wagga. And I was like, oh my God. So the whole time we were just on this oh, route, so does the that fastest mean, way to the nearest KFC. Would you say then, boys, the only reason we're doing this podcast at fucking midnight is because we took a KFC detour? No. <laughs> That's actually why. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> Absolutely not. We were there for a while. We were going to have to get lunch or dinner anywhere. Mm. And then you took ages to film a Killen's Meals with uh, Zach. With Zach. But we only filmed for 23 minutes. That's so long. 
Anyway, boys. So we go into the KFC, and I gotta say, Luke and I combined, we've never felt more famous oh. ever. Even after our own shows, I reckon there have been like a less display of "Oh my god, I love you" shit. Whenever we walk into on this tour, it's just crazy. It's blowing our minds. Whenever Every we walk time into a regional fast food restaurant. We get recognised either from patrons in it or the staff, mainly the staff, mm. every time. Every time. By the way, in Melbourne, no one gives a fuck. We're, no. we're not saying we're famous. It's just, for some reason, regional fast Very food popular. employees are our demo. Yeah, that's great. And I'm, I'm proud of that. Hardest workers in the game. You know, if you've got to make a fucking zinger for a trucker, that's serious business. Mm. Right? So, we walk in and... Every one of the staff members and every one of the customers recognises. Might be seven to nine it was people. Bizarre. Yeah. We very walked weird. in and the place went silent. It was like yeah. in a movie. It was like this is him. Yeah. Crazy, right? So we walk in and immediately, oh, Luke and I both decided we don't want KFC again. We had it yesterday. What kind of animal has it two days in a row? Mm. <laughs> Keelan put his hand up. Um. So. Immediately, Luke and I are like, oh, we came in just to get out of the rain. We don't really want anything. Keelan sees every single one of the staff members <laughs> look at us and immediately starts asking for free shit. Yeah. What did you say? I said, because you're fans of my friends, can I get free food? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He got a lot of free food. I got heaps of free food. Shout out to those boys. We didn't eat any of it, even though Keelan got so much more than oh, he should eat sorry, by can himself. Can you retract that shout out? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Shout out to Ben. I'm yeah. very... I'm... I also don't want them to get in trouble for giving us free food. Oh, well, this happened in Shepparton. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What do you mean? No, every every single fast food worker listens to this show oh, in true. Wagga Wagga, so we'll keep it hush. This happened at Hungry Jack's, guys. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> Hungry Jack's gave us 25 pieces of fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, he eliminated singer. all of it by himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, some guy eating with his mate, staring at me for ages, didn't say a word. Didn't get a photo, which is fine. I don't mind. I don't. I don't have to get a photo. I don't need a hello. I want to say glaring at you, actually, not yeah. aggressively, not in a mean way, like just staring, like oh, in a shit. trance. Yeah, locked eyes on you for yeah so long. I felt uncomfortable, mm-hmm. and I wasn't the one even being looked at. Yep. Now, uh, then about an hour later, I By get the a way, DM. Can we say how weird the first interaction was? The first mm-hmm. guy you came in went, oh my God, it's Lewis Spears, blah, blah, blah. And, was like, and I was like, oh, cool. Well, that's not weird. That's yeah, everyday no, shit. No, that, oh, I was, that's the first thing I was shocked at. No, <laughs> often that is the case because yeah. people see you so tall. Well, they just see you. me first. Yeah. And then, right, so he goes, oh my God, Lewis Spears. Sorry, I'm such a big fan, blah, blah, blah. And then you spoke to him for a bit. You were really nice. And then I just was sitting there behind you. He, and then he goes, oh, Luke, could I grab a selfie? And then just... Walked beh- out from behind the counter. Big effort to come out didn't really from speak the to me. counter. Didn't like had a, didn't care that I walked in the store. Yeah. Then I was like, Luke, can I grab a selfie? Took a selfie with me. All right, all right, see you, boys. And just didn't take really one with weird because I was just standing there ready to take one with him because that's normal. They do you, they do yeah. me, or they do me, they do you. Yeah. But then he like looked at you and was like, all right, see. Ya. It's like he was scared of me or something. It was very weird. It's bizarre. But it people a, sometimes people are just terrified of me. Strange interaction. Um, anyway. I'm very nice. If you ever want a photo, I'll take one with you. I'm a nice person, right? Unless I get messages like this. Mm-hmm. Right. So I got a message from the guy who did not take a photo and did not say hi. Mm-hmm. Um, and he goes, Hey, about an hour later. Just saw you in Wagga KFC. I was sitting in the corner, but I'm too socially retarded to say hello. Which is fine. Whatever. Yeah. All good. Second message. You're a fucking legend, Ping of Pete. <sighs> Great. Love that? Yeah. We all know you're that. You're actually... The opposite of... No, no. You're actually Ping of Pete. No, like I'm... It's not a character. I'm absolutely not. I'm a no. sober person taking yeah. the piss out of people who act like Ping of Pete. Yeah. It That's must be so good when people re- refer to you. You're like a serious stand-up comedian. Yeah. L- pretty big deal. Yeah. Must be great. When people yeah. refer to you as a character from 2013. Yes, that is good. Yeah. Be great. You're that you don't own me guy. Yes. Must feel the same. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Feels good. Feels yeah, it feels love great. That. Love that. Do the thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Is, I love this. I I do put on a singlet and wear sunnies and do the rave. It's not funny without music. Also, I'm a comedian. Yeah, but I do ecstasy all the time. Cool. Anyway, right? So I hit him. 
with the classic retort. Because why are we in Wagga Wagga? Can we rem- remind everyone? One, two, three. For a show. Doing a show. That's right. Thanks, KFC. everyone. Everyone, boys. And is is that the only reason why we'd be, why we would be there? Yes. yes. Because everyone has KFC and meth. Okay. So <laughs> I hit him with the classic retort. Love throwing this one out there, especially when I have a show the night of, and someone's reached out and told me they're a fan. Thanks, mate. We've got a show tonight. You should come. Lovely. Thanks. Lovely invite to a show because he, can we all remember, mm. big fan. Yes. Yeah. By the way, very proud of you for not even, for ignoring, for like you just let it go. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Just let it go to the keeper. Mm-hmm. The ping of P comment just went through. You didn't yeah. let it bother you and that's fine. And it was just slipped a, that one. You slipped that one and then mm-hmm. sent him back a hell of a nice message. That's Great right. work. Loaf energy. Now, uh, can you just read what this says just below my message? What does that say? So you've invited him to the show. Yeah, because he's such a big fan. And he's such a big fan. Yeah. And what does that say? Because he thinks you're a fucking legend. Yeah, but just below and that just message, below what that, does that say? Uh, it says scene. <laughs> <laughs> now... No, and, and can I just point out that it's currently midnight, so about eight hours since yep. that message. No response. And it still says C. And didn't attend the show. Didn't attend the show. Must no. be a really big fan. Really big fan. Thanks, really man. big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. And, uh, that and that's why you're crumb of the month, bro. Yep. Congratulations, crumb of the month, because if you... Nothing wrong with being socially awkward. Nothing, Nothing wrong. wrong with not Nothing wanting wrong with to that. say hi. There um, is something wrong with going such a big fan and then not coming to the show. Mm. You don't have to come to the you show. You don't even have to say you're a big fan. You can no. just say, I, pa- I passively enjoy your content. Yeah, that's what I like, mean. Wow, thanks so much for passively fine. enjoying it. That, I appreciate time, that even more. smash like. Yeah. You don't have to all the time. Mm-hmm. They might not even subscribe. They I appreciate that shit much more. If you're like, oh, I've seen some of your stuff, I'll right. go, cool. Casual viewer, he's probably not going to come to the show. Massive I'm, fan, you're copping an invite, bro. Yeah. That's what I say to like Lewis stuff, casual fan. <laughs> you know, I'm not watching every vid, but I'm I'm in some and I watch those. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. are my favourites. Regular actually. Your favourites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I use it's, it's it's good stuff. I think so. Yeah. The editing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Mainly the spelling. <laughs>